Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I am back with another ginormous friend mail unboxing from my fabulous friend Billy. I mentioned to you guys the other day when I did my first unboxing from Billy, well my most recent, she sent me several friend mails because she is ridiculously generous and I can't even believe how incredible she is, but she sent me not one but two ginormous boxes. And this one, I'm just going to kind of try to show you it on camera a little bit. She wrapped it all in black craft paper. Yeah, it's really, really huge. I cut it open, but I have not looked at anything inside yet. It weighs about 10 pounds, so there's going to be a lot of goodies inside there. But this one was sent, she sent me instructions that I was to open the regular wrapped one first that I showed you the other day. If you look back in my playlist of friend mail unboxings, you will see, it'll say ginormous friend mail from Billy. It was just posted, I think, two or three days ago. That one was, I was instructed to open that box first and then the black craft paper wrapped one second because this is Halloween goodness. And I was going to try to wait till closer to Halloween to open it. And she said to me in one of the comments on my other videos, just go ahead and open it. Just open it, open it, open it. So I have no patience to begin with. So I've been dying to. So when she gave me the official go ahead to open it, I'm opening it. But anyway, she filled it on top with this incredible... I, I call it clouds. To me, it, it just reminds me of a cloud. It's this super duper, incredibly cool stuffing that you could actually like pull apart and make like super spooky spider webs and stuff out of. Unfortunately, I have two cats and they would look at it like cotton candy for cats and probably try to eat it. So I don't get to keep it and decorate with it, even though I would really, really love to. And she put in all different colorful little Halloween festive snakes as we Dollar Tree mavens like to call them because they look like snakes but it's like that crinkly confetti. She always goes over the top beautiful with her decorations. She wraps everything beautifully and it's just so much fun to open every little thing. But first we have on top a card and she wrote my name on it and yes I will be cutting that out and putting it in my junk journal. I will cut out this whole part. I will cut out the parts with the stickers too and on the back we have like little vampire. He just reminds me of the Count from Sesame Street. So I'm going to try to open this in such a way that I don't tear through the vampire because I definitely want to save him from my junk journal page. I'm just kind of split it on the top here. That'll work. And then I can just snip around him and snip around the decorations on the front. Oh, time for chills because she knows I like spooky things. She and I both love Halloween. Uh, we both love horror movies. We're seriously like sisters separated at birth. We're so alike. Let me see. It says inside of her. First, the card itself says, hope you have a truly wicked Halloween. And it says, dearest Carrie, it's that time again. I hope you have fun opening this box of Halloween goodies. Love you, XO Billy. I love you too so, so, so much. And I love this card. And I love the envelope. I love everything. I'm just so, so, so excited. I cannot believe how blessed I am to have a friend like you. And have so many wonderful, generous, amazing friends. I use that word blessed, guys. Now, I know some of you are religious. Some of you are not. I consider myself spiritual in quotes. I do believe there's a higher power of some sort. I don't know how much I believe in, like, the the religion I was brought up in, which is Episcopalian, Christianity, Protestant. Um, I do believe there's something bigger than us. But when I use the word blessed, I don't mean it with religious connotations. I mean blessed as an extremely lucky and fortunate. So... I am very, very, very blessed to have the friends that I do. Just putting that out there. Okay, let me just grab something. First up, we have this super cool black and white stripey bag. And look at the kitty on the back. I love him. I'm going to see if I can peel him off. If I can peel him off, he's going right in my junk journal. And if not, I am going to cut out the paper he's on and put him in mounted on the junk journal. I mean mounted on the paper. Nope, I got him off. Sweet. So he is getting saved for my junk journal page. I love this bag, though. I will definitely use pieces of this bag as junk journal background, too. Because it's super spooky and fun. And let's see. Ah! <laughs> these are so cool! Look at these super spooky hair clips! I love these so much. They're absolutely adorable. They're little green skeleton hair clips. And I'd put one in, but I'm rocking my little owl cap right now. Which, by the way, two people saw me today at the animal shelter where I volunteer. And they said it looked like a cat. 
I don't know, I think it's definitely owl. I know they kind of look like cat ears, but the eyes make it owlish for me. And they thought the pink nose looked kind of like feline. And I guess I can see where you would think maybe cat, but I definitely think owl. You guys will have to leave me a comment. Does it look more like an owl or a cat? I don't have objections either way, but I just think of it as an owl. But anyway, if I wasn't wearing my cap right now, I'm going to see. Can I put one like on? I'm just going to clip one to my hat. <laughs> that actually kind of works as a hat accessory. I'm putting them both on my head. You know what? Life's short, man. Live a little. I love these. And I like that they have nice, good size, strong, sturdy clips because my hair is pretty thick. And obviously, as you can see fairly well in this video, it's quite long. So I need like serious clips to hold in my mop, but I think that actually is kind of fun, so I'm going to leave them like that. I love them, I love them, I love them. And of course, there's never one thing in a bag from Billy. It's just not possible. And she goes to the trouble of even wrapping it with this little twine, because she's fantastic. And I have scissors. I think I lost them under the cloud. I don't know. I lost them somewhere in the room. I don't know. Let me pause and find them. Hold on, guys. Okay, duh, that was actually really quite simple. They were back in the scissor drawer. I actually put something where, where it belonged for once. But I'm going to snip that. And let's see what's inside here. I'm so excited. This is just too much fun. You really, it is an embarrassment of riches, Billy. I just can't even, like, believe how incredible you are. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> What is this? Oh my gosh, I love the pattern. It says, it's got all creepy Halloween things. It says, tomb sweet tomb, do not add water. Happy hauntings, have a beautiful night. Is this a scarf or like a bandana? It is a scarf. I love this. Oh, I absolutely love it. That is so cool because it's like super sheer. But then like if you look at it, like if you hold it at the right type of angle, like you can see the different designs. I hope you can see them fairly well. Okay, we're throwing this on too, cause why not? Okay, wait, let me rock it like appropriate scarf, like cool looking style here. Let me get my mop of hair out. Okay, it's just gonna be like, I'm just gonna throw everything on that's wearable. Okay, oh, I love that. I love that. And it comes to like, just like a really nice under boob height. I mean, under boob length. <laughs> In my case, I mean, if you're a little chestier, I'm clearly not very. It comes to under boob length, you will see on somebody else. But yeah, I don't know. I just got it. I overshare. Okay. <laughs> Next up. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love these. I love these. Look at these amazing buttons. And this pin is going right on my pin board. It says, bite me. And I will, seriously, I will rock this all year round on like different hats when I don't have it on my pin board. Like I could literally legit put this on my hat right now. In fact, I'm going to do that too. I am just going to do that too. We're just going to like wear everything here. I'm going to wear all the things. Okay, let me do that. Let me get the back on. I'm trying not to make a hole in my hat. There we go. It's <laughs> just going to, I'm going to look like... I don't know, the crazy cat lady that I am by the time we're through here. But then we've got these three that are actual, like the button type pins with this type of closure. It says, eat, drink, and be scary. <laughs> Which better have my candy? I love that. And this super cool purple skeleton, I'm purple skull with heart eyes, which is like, just the right amount of scary and whimsical to like completely rock my world. I'm so, so, so excited. I love this. And then, oh my gosh, there's more. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> Zombies eat brains, you're safe. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then we've got a little spider and a little spider web and the vampire fangs, which also kind of, I know it's not fangs in Rocky Horror, but it reminds me kind of of Rocky Horror with the lips and the, and the teeth and stuff, so... We're gonna put that one on this side. I'm just rocking everything. Like I said, I'm just gonna look like a ramshackle hot mess at the end of this, but I'm having so much fun. So, okay, did I get the, the back on? Hold please. Okay, there we go. Okay, <laughs> I'm so stoked right now. You have no idea, guys. This is amazing. But yeah, again, there's a better look at the pins. Oh, they're so cute. 
Billy is freaking amazing. And even in the bottom of the bag, she put snakes because she is like legitimately everything. She's so freaking awesome. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this bag for now and I'm going to put the goodies that I've already opened inside the bag. I'm going to put my card in there and I'm going to put my envelope in there and I'm not going to keep my hair clip backing thing because I don't need that. And there we go. Okay, so that's one little bag out of this ginormous box. Okay, let's see what's next. What's next? Ooh, this is really cool. Oh my gosh. I swear, I think I saw a lady when I was on my way to the shelter this morning, I saw a lady walking with a shopping bag with this print on it. And how cool and fabulous is this ribbon, by the way? But, oh my gosh, if this is from Marshall's, because I think hers was from Marshall's, I saw somebody with a sugar skull bag, and it was from either TJ Maxx or Marshall's. Let me see, let me see. Oh my gosh, it is the exact Marshall's tote bag that I saw today, to the point where I legitimately wanted to, like, say out my window to the woman, that is, like, the coolest bag I've ever seen. I swear to you, this exact bag. I can't believe it. I mean, things like this happen with Billy and I all the time, but it still never ceases to amaze me. And this thing is ginormous. And even on the side, you get a sugar skull and some flowers. I love that. So I'm gonna place that next to me on the floor and then I'm just gonna put everything into that bag as I go along. Because since I already have a box upstairs, the box from yesterday, by the way, my cats are in love with, I have to, text you pictures, Billy, of my shamrock inside the box. I have to decide if they're going to keep the black one because the black one's pretty cool. And I pulled all of the the um, macaron stickers or adhesive, whatever, the, what you taped, the, the cardboard macarons off the sides of the boxes to keep for junk journaling. So that box doesn't look as pretty now. So we may switch out and give the cats this box because it's halloween -y and fun. But um, they love the box. They freaking love the box. But anyway, um, so I'm going to put the goodies in this shopping bag, and then I'll just put the uh, backs upstairs after I'm through and let the cats have at it. Okay, look at this fabulous bag, too. I love it. And again, I know I'm repeating myself ad nauseum, but it will be junk journaled somehow because it is fabulous. Excuse me, I'm burping. I just had a fabulous lunch that my husband cooked for me. Thank goodness my husband can cook because I'm clueless in the kitchen. Okay, I think I know what this is. Because Billy sent me my very first pair of Lululemon leggings the other day. And I haven't even put them on my body yet because I wanted to wear them tonight. I'm going to Whiny Wednesday at my friend Kathy's house. Whiny Writing Wednesday. We have a writing group that... We met in a writing class, and since the class has ended, we get together at my friend Kathy's house most Wednesdays, and we drink wine, and we, we assign each other, like, one person each week will come up with a prompt, and we, or five, four or five prompts, and we write on the prompts, and we read together, and we drink wine, and we eat pizza, and it's such a fun night. And I really wanted to wear my Lula Rose tonight, but now it's warm again, so we'll have to see. But I think this is another pair of Lula Rose because she said she was putting one in each box. And oh my gosh, I believe that's exactly what this is. These are everything. And look at this fabulous ribbon again. I love this. This is so cool. It's like, um, I always say this wrong. Is it pronounced? Si it's pronounced sisal, I think. Not sisal, it's sisal, right? I don't know. I think it's pronounced sisal, but anyway, I love this kind of ribbon. So yeah, I'm saving that. Saving that. But look at these pants. Are you kidding me? I love them, and I will wear them all year round because skulls are good for all year round. I just literally don't care. Let's see. Oh, these are not Lula Rose. These are a brand called Always, but they feel super soft like Lula Rose which I'd never felt before in my life. They feel so soft. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to put these on my body. I'm so excited. I love the prints. I love the material. I'm so stoked, so stoked. I, I can't even, I'm gonna repeat myself with I can't even a lot in this video. I And that was a really crappy folding job, but that's going in the bag. This, of course, is going in the bag because I'm using it to junk journal with. 
see if I can get it to fold nicely. There we go. Okay, and there's so much more in here. I, I am so spoiled. I can't even believe how lucky I am to have the friends that I do. It's ridiculous. Okay, look at this bag and these adorable ghosty stickers. They're so sweet. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I actually, I have a book that has these in them. Unless I sent these to Billy. I don't remember, but I, I know I have a book that has these. But these guys are cute. They're three-dimensional. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me tear the top open here because this is all stapled to keep everything secure. And yes, I know, junk journaling it. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm going to have to have like 7,000 junk journals, but honestly, I'm going to need like an entire one just to put like Billy stuff in because I just, everything she sends is so junk journalable. That's the thing, junk journalable. It is now. Okay, so this is a large item. Let me fold up my baggie as usual. Try to salvage as much of it as I can. Definitely the part with the cute stickers on it. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. You guys don't need to see that. Let me get... Oop, there's a piece of twine on the floor. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, shut up. Look at these pencils. Are you kidding me? They're Frankenstein's monster and the bride of Frankenstein. And I was an English major, so yes, I can't call him Frankenstein because technically he's Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein was the scientist who created him. I know people call him Frankenstein. He's Frankenstein's monster and the bride. And they are so cute. Her hair is like this awesome like yarn that's like starch so it sticks straight up like that and they literally just look like twigs like from the trees look at that and they're pre-sharpened and I love these so stinking much they are fabulous and these are eco-friendly as well it says our eco-friendly pencils are made from the branches of the tamarind tamarind tree after the fruit has been harvested, the Crazy Head Pencil is composed of reclaimed rubber wood and is painted with safe, non-toxic, water-based paint. A great gift idea or decoration on your desk. I love these so freaking much. They're absolutely adorable. I can't. Look at the bolts. They're like actual metal bolts, I think, in his head, like metal screws. Look at the eyeballs. I mean, look at the details that went to these. These were made in Thailand, by the way. Oh my gosh, by a company called Siam Mandalay Company, Sci Siam Mandalay Corporation Limited. I've never seen these before in my life. That's the back. They're so cool. Oh my gosh, you find the most amazing things, my friend. I don't even know how you do it. You never cease to amaze me. And there's so much more still in here. Okay, I'm reaching across. Another adorable bag. Oops, hold on, run away, snake. I could just see my cat choking on that because they're dorks, especially my shamrock. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. Look at how cute this is. I love this bag. I love the stickers. That, I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage the stickers, but I'm going to try because I'm going to slice across the top of the bag and see if that'll work. That might work, actually, to save the sticker part. I think that'll work totally well. Okay, let's see, let's see. Billy's probably like, girl, you know you can part with like some of the packaging materials. No, I really cannot, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot part with them. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I love blind boxes and blind bags. She knows this, you guys know this. This one is Horror Classics Mystery Mini Series 3 Vinyl Figures, and I do not have any of these. I have one that was a gift from my friend Erin. It was, oh, why do I always forget his name? Kiefer Sutherland's character from The Lost Boys, and I always forget his name, but it's him. But this one, these are the characters on the back that you can get. I think that one was from Series 1 or 2. But these are the ones you can get, and the odds. But we've got... Freddy Krueger, we've got Elvira, we've got, I can't tell if that's 
can't tell if that's supposed to be Michael Myers. No, he's got hair. Maybe that's Ash from Evil Dead. I'm not really sure. Then we've got Reagan from The Exorcist. Okay, then we've got a Michael Myers, definitely. We've got a, um, not Michael, not Michael Myers. Um, Jason Voorhees, then a Michael Myers. Then we've got a Wolfman. We have got Twisty from AHS. Oh my gosh, I loved that season. Freak Show is my favorite season of AHS to date. Walmart exclusives or Walgreens exclusives. I don't know who these guys are, but they're really cool looking. So apparently this came from Walgreens. Interesting. We've got the guy who I don't know his name because I've never watched this movie all the way through. And why am I blanking out? A Clockwork Orange. I get to the one particular controversial scene that I don't want to mention, but it involves brutal violence. And once I get to that scene, I've never been able to watch past that. That looks like another variation of Michael Myers. And then we've got the Shining Twins. So I am super, super stoked for these. I cannot wait to see who I got. I'm going to open this in a separate video, though. So excited. So excited. Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. I own two of these Garbage Pail Kids. And legitimately, this morning... My husband came in to wake me up because I had to go to the animal shelter for my volunteer shift. And he gets up at the crack of dawn and he had to wake me to get up. And on top of our air conditioner, I know it's a weird random place. We have one of the ones that's stuck in the wall all year round. It's not central air. I have my two garbage pail kids vinyl figures and a few other different figures. And Brian, my husband, looked up and said, where did you get those garbage pail kids? And I said, Target, ages ago. And the cool thing about them is that there are 12 figures and you get a 1 in 12 chance of each one. And I kid you not, just this morning he said that to me. I am absolutely shocked. But I love that you get an equal chance of all of them. There's not like a chaser or something that you're, you know, never going to get. The only two I have so far are New Wave Dave and Leaky Lindsay, which I was so excited to get because I have a good friend named Lindsay. So if I get any of the other 10, that'll be so perfect. But I can't believe that we were just talking about these this morning, Billy. I mean, like I said, these coincidences, I should not be surprised anymore by them, but I still am. Okay, let me get the snaky snakes out of there so I can fold up this bag as well for junk journaling. I'm keeping these off to the side the blind boxes, though, because I may open them right after this because, yeah, instant gratification takes too long, as the late, great, beloved of To My Heart, Carrie Fisher, once wrote. Okay, look at how cute this little bag is. I have no idea what kind of goodies are in here, but I love the ribbon. I love that it's full of Halloween orange snakes. I'm so excited. I'm smelling something wonderful. So I don't know if this is a food item or if it's like a candle or something. Ooh, I was right the second time. Well, almost. It's it's wax melts. Pumpkin apple. Oh my gosh. I don't even have to open the package. They smell divine. I love it. And it actually says six spooky fragrance cubes. I love that. Oh, that smells so good. And then I see it, another pack in there. And these are <gasps> monster cookies. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love anything sugar cookie scented. And I'm imagining that's what these will probably smell like because they just look like sugar cut out cookies with frosting. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. Holy cannoli, I am obsessed, 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 obsessed. I don't know why I'm saying it like so many times, but because I truly am. Okay, and then there is, is there some, there's more, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank God I felt for the bottom. <gasps> I love this because this is something I adore and my husband cannot stand and it cracks me up. It is candy corn. I have a bag of candy corn upstairs and I was going to buy just the straight candy corn, but I ended up getting the harvest mix bag that comes with the Indian corn that has like the brown stripe instead of, what is it? I think it's orange, white, and brown instead of orange, white, and yellow. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um... Do they taste different or do they taste the same, you guys? People are pretty much 
have said so far they think they taste the same. I always wonder if the brown part is supposed to represent chocolate or if it's just food coloring. But anyway, and then it comes with like the mellow cream pumpkins in it and it's gonna be all for me because my husband gags at the thought of candy corn, but I love them and I love the scent of them. And he's just gonna have to suck it up and smell <laughs> It smells so good. Although maybe when we're doing our separate things, like we have, we live in my mom's house and we live upstairs and we have our bedroom. Then we have like a little, we li literally since I've been a child, like my family's called it the little room. It's not that little, but it really serves no purpose. It's got a couple of closets. We've got a dresser in there. And on top of that is where we keep our food, our snacks, our Keurig and our K-cups and stuff. We've got the little room and then we've got what was my brother's room before he passed away. Um, and now it's our like living room, den, whatever you want to call it. And generally, if I'm in the mood to like watch MST3K or Rift Tracks, which Google, if you're not familiar with them, I'm obsessed. I love them both. Um, a lot of times I will go into our bedroom and I will watch that on Apple TV. And then my husband will play Destiny on the Xbox in like the living room area. So I may very well burn the wax melts in the room that I'm in so he doesn't have to smell the candy corn even though it's gonna smell glorious and I'm so excited about it okay that is definitely it and this I may actually save because this way it's already pre-bagged snakes to put in another friend mail for someone else so that'll be fun and festive recycle man I like to be green and I'm also cheap <laughs> so if I can get something for nothing and reuse it I'm happy to do that Billy is literally going to cry that this came undone. So I'm taping it back proper so it can be appreciated the way she intended it. Because I know she works so hard on her wrapping. But this did come undone, unfortunately. However, I'm now going to undo it myself. Yes, I will be saving this sticker as well and the ribbon. And I will get these little pieces of tape off because this coffin box is legitimately too cute for words. Let me do that. I think there's one more underneath. Yes, there is. Let me get that one without ripping the paper, preferably. Come on, come on. Got it, got it, got it. Perfect. But look at how cute this box is with the bat. I love that. I love that. I love it. <laughs> more snakes because she does everything so perfectly. What is this? Happy Halloween. Is, what? This is a choker. Stop it right now. This is a bloody choker. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to. I have to. This is so cool. I saw that one of my friends, Fairy Cakes, look for her channel. She's wonderful. She's British and she's adorable and I love her and she does incredible unboxings and hauls and makeup tutorials and she's got a fabulous channel and she needs way more subscribers because she's amazing. But she did a box. I forget which subscription box she did, but she got a necklace similar to this. And I was like, that is the coolest thing in the world. If I ever could get one of those, I would be so happy. Okay, let's see. I'm wearing too many things. All right, the scarf is going to have to come off now. I'm sorry. But if we want to actually be able to view the choker. Let me put this on. Oh, stop it. This is too cool. And what does it say? 12 inch choker with extender. So you can make it as tight as you would like. I know I could just hit pause and show you once it's on, but you know me, I do everything in real time because I just like to chat with you while I'm doing stuff. Okay, let me just see if I can get that into any link there. Okay. How freaking cool is that? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wanna rock this like the whole month. My my Hope necklace does not come off. It hasn't since the start of this year. It rarely comes off any other time. So I won't wear the choker every day for fear that they would get tangled, but I will wear it a lot because it actually doesn't interfere too much with my Hope necklace. That is so freaking cool. I love it, and I love that it's rubbery, so it doesn't feel too tight, and I could actually put it on looser if I want to because there's more extender chain, but I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. They're pouring out the snakes, but, oh, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, that's so cool. And it's, like, lined, like, and comfy inside. Well, not that a coffin would be comfy because you'd be dead if you were in it, unless you're Dracula, I guess. So you don't really have to worry about the comfort of a coffin. I never intend to be in a coffin anyway, not to get too gruesome, but I do want to be cremated when I die, so I don't ever intend to be in a coffin. Donate all my parts, 
and then cremate me. But anyway, and sprinkle me in the ocean. Putting this out there in public. My husband and my family already know my, my wishes, but anyway. That is the top of this beautiful package with this adorable little sparkly ribbon. Let me get that on. Oh, that might take too long because it's tight. All right, I feel bad, but I'm gonna snip it. And I like this little line of sequins. It's like a little sequin kind of garland, I guess, that's wrapped around it. It's really, really, really pretty. And again, I'll try to junk journal with this if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to get that to adhere, but I'll find some use for it because that's really, it's cool looking. Now that I cut it though, it's probably all gonna come undone. Oh well, we'll see. We'll figure that out. Got loose sequins now. We'll put these over here in the clouds. And then let's go to town on this wonderfully wrapped box. I think I know what this is because this is something that Billy, yes, had mentioned to me and showed me pictures of. I'm so excited. She asked me if I had these and I did not. I have several, but not these two. And these are Monster High Dolls. I have three. I have one version of Frankie, but she came with like... It's a stand-up piece and it's like electrified Frankie and theoretically you can like do something that uses static electricity to make her hair stand on end. I've never used her for that though. I just use it as like a way to display her. So I don't have this one, which is the, the um, I guess this is like the classic basic Frankie, but I love her so much. I love her outfit. She's gorgeous. I'm so stoked. I have one Draculaura, but not this Draculaura. She is beautiful as well. And then I have a Katrine Demieux is the third one that I have. That was the very first one I got on clearance at a grocery store, ShopRite. I got her for like $5 one time and she even came with a stand. She was amazing. So now I have five altogether Monster High dolls and I love these so much. And I know they're worth more if you keep them in the box, but um, I take them out and I display them on my shelf and I have fun with them. But I love those, love those, love those. Okay, let me see if maybe I should move this to the floor now. Ugh, let me do that and reach in. That's a little easier. Not flattering to, you know, the angle of you seeing me here, but okay. This way I don't spill so many snakes on the floor either. Look at how beautiful that is wrapped. Are you kidding me? That is insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. And these are definitely, again, going to get junk journaled somehow. I'm going to try to cut them out because they're like three-dimensional and they're so super cool. And I hear rattling and I have no idea what this could possibly be, but I'm excited. So I'm just going to kind of tear into the bottom of it. Snip this little ribbon and tear into the bottom of it so I don't mess up the top where it's all beautifully decorated. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Was I not just talking about Mallow Cream Pumpkins? Holy cannoli. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. There are Mallow Cream Pumpkins in here and I have no doubt in my mind that Billy did this all herself, the decorations and stuff, which makes it so, so stinking special. You are so creative, girl. We've got double bubble, or super bubble, super bubble gum. We've got runts. We've got, what is that? Jaw brusters. Oh, okay. This is, this is why I love this woman. I was looking at this, the runts, and going, oh, boo, there's no banana, and banana's my favorite. She did an entire section of banana. She knows me, like I said, better than I know myself. It's crazy. Then we've got these awesome skeletons, like skulls and bones. We've got high chews, which if you haven't had these, they're delicious. Mellow cream pumpkins, cherry balls, and lemon heads. And there's some Smarties in there too. This is absolutely precious. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then once I've eaten all the candy, I can reuse this fabulous container to put in uh, washi tape or beads or whatever crafty stuff I want to use. I can't believe how brilliant you are. You are amazing. And this should be going in the bag with everything else. Oh my gosh. You are a genius. That is so freaking creative. I can't even believe it. Okay. So let me put this whole big thing in here. 
Oh, sorry, more unflattering luck. Okay. Oh, and the girls have to go in there too, of course. Draculaura and Frankie. Thank goodness this is a huge bag, girl, because it's almost full. Holy cow. Okay, and I see one more thing in the bottom of here. This is just too darn much. I can't even deal. And then we have this beautifully wrapped package here, again, with the gorgeous ribbon. So pretty. And this is actually long enough that I may just, like, try to tie it in my hair or something and make a headband out of it because that's really, really, really pretty. And she taught me a great gift. Um, gift. She taught me a great trick. See, Freudian slip because it's all gifts. She taught me that when her daughter Annie wears hairbands, like the ones that are stretchy and stuff, Sometimes, you know how like if you try to wear them, they slide right out of your head. If you put a strip of hot glue on the bottom and let it dry, obviously, it doesn't. It's like the hot glue because it's rubberized, it makes it stay in your hair. So I may actually try to make like some kind of a headband or something out of this or just use it as a ribbon to tie like in the bottom of a ponytail or pigtails. But I love this. It's so beautiful. And of course, a little piece will get junk journaled as well. Duh. Because, you know. It's me, and obviously. Okay, let's see what is in this package. Oh my gosh. We're at 35 minutes. This may end up being as long as my other video, which is unbelievable to me. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there's lots of goodies in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, let's see. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I literally... Okay, yesterday I was at Target. I posted a bunch of pictures on my Facebook page and I looked at these cat ballpoint pens and I had them in my hands and I was gonna buy them and I said, no, 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 I really don't need them. I really like them. Maybe I'll wait till after Halloween if they go on clearance and I didn't buy them. And now I have them because Billy is everything. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. And yes, I looked at these two. I didn't even see these bats though, but I totally looked at these sugar skulls and candies and even pointed them out to my husband and said how freaking cute they were and that I wanted them. But look at these bats. Holy cannoli. I swear to you, this is absolutely insane. <gasps> look at these stickers. Are you kidding? How cute are these? I love them so, 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 so freaking much. The one thing I am looking for right now is a sticker book. I want to find a sticker book that has the like the waxy pages that used to be so popular in like the 80s you could find them everywhere. They were made by like Sandy Lion and stuff and they were just wax pages that you could put your stickers in and peel them back out. You know, it was meant to be temporary. I literally just threw one out the other day that had a bunch of stickers in because when I went to peel them because I have one of my OCD issues is that when I have sticker books and then I use some of the stickers out of them and I have space, I want it to condense. So I try to fill in the spaces and gradually empty sticker books so that I have whole ones to use again. And I had this one and it was made by Sandy Line. It had t a Tweety Bird on it. And half the stickers that I tried to peel out ripped because the, the waxy back was not like really slick like it should have been and they stuck and they got ruined. So I ended up having to throw out that book. So I'm desperately trying to find, like they're like the dollar store sometimes even has them, but I can't find them right now because I like with sometimes with sheets like this, I have a like photo boxes full of sheets of stickers, but I like to have the fun of peeling them off the back and putting them in the book and then going through the book when I need stickers. So I'm desperately hunting for sticker books right now. If any of you guys find any anywhere, I looked at AC Moore. Did I look at Michaels? I don't remember if I looked at Michaels. I looked at AC Moore. I looked at the Dollar Tree and they didn't have any right now, but I'm in desperate need of sticker books. So if you guys ever find any anywhere, please give me a heads up as to where you found them. But anyway, I would love to have sticker books to stick these in because these are freaking awesome and I love them so, 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 so much. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful book. This is gorgeous, and I'm not going to lie, this is my husband's favorite evil from all of Disney, is the evil queen from Snow White. So, yeah, he's going to be like, woo baby, when he sees her. When he got to meet her when we lived in Disney World, he was so excited. Oh my gosh, and look at how beautiful the pages are in here. Are you kidding me? 
this is gorgeous oh my gosh i'm gonna have to write in pencil in here because i literally don't want to mess the pages up <gasps> and there's stickers inside oh stop oh my gosh look at that i love this so much i absolutely love it i can never have enough journal books i like hoard them i hoard everything but it's ridiculous but i love i love 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 journal books and how adorable is this halloween coloring book i have so many coloring books and not one that is halloween themed and i am so stoked because i'm gonna have it's premium thank you very much which probably means that they are going to be like nice thick pages let's see oh they do feel nice and thick the only thing i don't like about coloring books is when they put designs on both sides it bums me out because then you're obligated to color with either pen colored pencils or uh crayons which i don't mind at all but i like to be able to color with markers and have the option so i prefer when they don't have designs on both pages but you know what i do to get around that guys if there's a design on one page that i really really love and i also equally like the design on the other page and i really want to color with markers i just make a photocopy on my printer of the uh, the one page and then i color the one page that i've copied with marker and then i color the other then i can color both sides again and not ruin the book with like the ink bleeding through with either colored pencil or um or crayon so that's my little tip if you really really want to color with marker in your coloring book and you don't want to ruin the other page and also another tip I'm sure you guys know this if you have a flat piece of cardboard particularly like when you buy um like legal pads you know how they have that cardboard on the back save a piece of that and stick it in between your pages when you're coloring even, that way even if there are there is only a design on one side you don't take the chance of the color bleeding through and ruining your next page depending on what kind of markers you use there you go the more you know from carrie but i love this coloring book so much so yeah we are actually at almost 42 minutes right now and i am blown away again by how incredibly freaking generous you are billy i'm just making absolutely sure there's nothing else in there positive there isn't but okay yeah no. okay good but seriously, I am blown away again. I am gobsmacked, I am overwhelmed, I am just beside myself with joy and gratitude and excitement and bliss and this has been so stinking much fun. And you know I'm gonna come back right after this and I'm gonna open these two blind boxes because I'm dying of suspense and I wanna know who's in them. But seriously, Billy, there are no words to express how much I adore you. I've tried to find them. I've tried to be creative. I've tried to think of different ways to say it. But honestly, the simplest, best way is to say that I love you. I adore you. I am so grateful. I thank my lucky stars every day that you came into my life. And I know we will be friends forever and ever. Amen. I don't know why I said amen because it's a song. But um, yeah, I just... I, I worship you. You're just so incredibly kind and generous and such a wonderful friend. And if you sent me nothing again for the rest of my life, I still couldn't love you more than I do right now because you're just, you're amazing. I mean, I, I couldn't not not love you more i don't know every day i love you more so i don't know how that works but i feel like i couldn't possibly love you more than i do right now but yet somehow every day i love you more so go figure but anyway thank you so 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 much for both of these tremendous gifts the biggest gift of course being your friendship always you are my heart sister if we lived in the same state even we would be hanging out all the time and you know my deal i don't hang out with a lot of people i'm very like i have because of my anxiety disorder it's really hard for me to get out of my house and be with people a lot of the time but i would make it happen for you there's a handful of people in the world that i would make it happen for and it would be you no question and i know we're going to meet in real life very soon we're going to figure out something and I'm so excited about that because when I get to hug you in person, it's going to be so satisfying and make me so, so, so happy. So anyway, I love you. I adore you. I am at 44 minutes. I am going to get to that damn 45 just like I did the other day. But um, thank you all so much for bearing with me for another really long video. I know some of you enjoy the long ones. I know some of you do not. That's why some are long and some are short because, you know, 
different strokes for different folks and I want everybody to be happy and there's something for everyone at Persevering Star, I hope. Um, obviously if I'm not for you then you know peace I love you go find a channel that you like better if you enjoy my content and I hope that you do and you haven't subscribed yet I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button I always appreciate comments down below if you have anything you'd like to share with me I love hearing from you guys so 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 much I can't even tell you how many wonderful friendships have been born simply from YouTube comments and thank you so, so, so much for watching. I will be back in just a minute with these unboxings and with lots more stuff. Bye, guys.